Hey, good morning. Uh, I know uh, we got we to gotta see you uh, soon at, at the Union Colony Civic Center on June the 8th. You've got your amazing show coming back to Colorado. This isn't your first visit here. Uh, your Dare to Believe tour is going to be at the Union Colony Civic Center. I know a lot of people are excited about it. You put on an incredible show, uh, and you've been doing it for some time. I understand when you were four years old, you knew what you wanted to do. <laughs> Well, I saw a magician perform at my sister's birthday party when I was four, so it definitely uh, sparked my interest in magic. And and this, and then I remember bugging my mom for a couple of years to take me to the library to get some books on magic, because this is before the Internet, so if right. you wanted to learn something new, you had to go to the library. And and I, I think I remember being six and and going to the library and getting some books on magic, and of course I didn't know how to read yet, so she would... Uh, my mom would read me books at night and, and learn a few card tricks, and I just stayed at it. What was the? Do you recall the actual trick the magician did that caught your attention, or was it just the whole show? Well, the one that stood out. Uh, I don't remember what the trick was when I was four, but a few <laughs> years later, I saw a magician uh, do a trick at a fair uh, where he took a dollar and uh, turned it into a hundred dollars. And um, that's the one I never forgot. And actually, <laughs> I do that one in the show. I do that one in every show, kind of as a, as I guess, a, a reminder of what sparked my interest. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, for anybody watching that, you're thinking, well, that's easy money right there. I need to be doing that for a living. <laughs> Uh, we're speaking yeah. with Jay Owen House, legendary escape artist and one of the most awarded illusionists in history. His Dare to Believe show coming to the Union Colony Civic Center on June the 8th. And it, it, this really is uh, an art form. And it's amazing for, obviously, uh, for the audiences that watch what you do, but years of experience doing it. In fact, you've also helped create some of the magic that we see uh, in, in the industry itself. So, um, I, obviously, I can't ask you how it's done, but... This must be a joy for you to do each and every time you go out on stage knowing that you're just blowing people's minds. Well, you know what I love about the art of magic and illusion is that it, it kind of takes us back to a place of, of wonder uh, that most of us haven't experienced, you know, since we were kids. You know, if you observe kids that are, you know, in kindergarten and first and second grade, it's like they all have just amazing uh, imaginations and, and just... Uh, just this great ability to dream and, and curiosity about the world and this real sense of wonder. And I think as we get older, you know, we tend to, to get a few alligator bites and a few disappointments and, and we tend to maybe get a little more cynical. And I think that, that a great thing about a great illusion show is it kind of all takes us back to that, that childlike feeling of, uh, of wonder that a lot of us haven't experienced since we were kids. And that's what I love about it most. And, and, you know, we kind of use the show as a metaphor, really, just to subtly remind people that, you know, that anything is possible and hopefully get people excited about uh, rekindling their own dreams if, if, if they need that, you know. Right. No, absolutely. Uh, painting a picture a little bit about the show for those who have not seen it yet, I, I know that you include Bengal Tigers in your act. Um, how, how exactly they work with you during your show? So we have a, a private uh, sanctuary uh, that I've had for 25 years uh, here in Montana, where we live, and that's really kind of been one of the passions of uh, myself and my uh, kids uh, growing up is is not only working with these magnificent animals, but but also trying to uh, help spread the message, uh, you know, to conserve them because you know a lot of people don't realize that there was a hundred thousand tigers in the wild in 1900. Uh, today, there's less than 3,600. Most experts believe they will be extinct by 2022, which is coming up pretty fast. Yeah. And sadly, it's it's an avoidable, uh, solvable problem. I mean, the, the two biggest issues are vanishing habitat, which is complicated, but the other big issue is is uh, illegal poaching. And the two largest you know, tiger populations are in, are in India. Uh, they're on unprotected uh, land. And um, we've been able to help uh, provide the funds to, to help prevent the poaching. It is making a difference. We've gained about 500 tigers in the last uh, four years. But so they're, we love taking them uh, with us as part of the show. I mean, they're really part of our family. Um, we just take them out on weekends. Uh, so they get 20 days or more in their sanctuary every month. And they love to travel with us. I mean, if it was 30 days a month, they probably wouldn't. But because it's just weekends, they 
love it and we love sharing them with people in kind of an intimate setting and hopefully get people excited about you know wanting to preserve them as well absolutely and they're beautiful beautiful animals as well one heck of a cat box i would assume but otherwise man those are beautiful <laughs> beautiful animals jay owen house legendary escape artist and a, an award-winning illusionist is going to be at the Union Colony Civic Center in Greeley on June the 8th, and tickets are available right now. You can go to ucstars.com, and as you have said uh, a few times in this interview, anything is possible. It's an amazing show, great entertainment, and uh, we look forward to having you here in northern Colorado again. Uh, so, again, uh, for folks who want to buy tickets, go to ucstars.com to catch Jay Owen House, the, uh, the Dare to Believe show coming to Northern Colorado on June the 8th. Jay, thank you so much for spending time with us this morning, and we look forward to having you here in Northern Colorado. Thank you so much. We look forward to it. All right, buddy. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, bye.